Hey what's up guys, I'm Ed here and today we have the JS Watch 6 Max Classic Smartwatch. It is the latest Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic replica and it comes with amazing features. It comes with a rotatable bezel on top, then we get an AMOLED display, the always on display option for the screen of tile and also many other amazing features. In this video we're gonna be taking a look at all of its features but before we start, if you're new here, a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So let's get right into it and first of all let's find out what comes inside its box and after that we're gonna be taking a closer look on all of its features. So here's the box, it mentions that it comes with an AMOLED display, we're surely gonna be testing it later in the video. Let's go ahead and find out what comes inside it. So first of all we have the smartwatch here with 20mm straps attached to it. After that if you flip this side then we get another box inside it and inside this box we have the wireless charger and in the end if we lift this cover up we get the user manual to get you started with the smartwatch. So here is the first look on the smartwatch. It is available in two colors, first of all we have this blue black color and here is how it's looking and after that we get this silver color which is also looking really good which one would you go for let me know in the comment section below so first of all talking about the body size it comes in 49.5 millimeter size and the dimensions are 49.5 into 49.5 into 14.8 millimeters then if you talk more about the body on the top we have a rotatable bezel it can be used as a crown key you can use it to change the watch faces then you can also use it to animate the icons and and you can also use it for scrolling. Then we get two keys on the right side. The upper one can be used to access the menu and also as a back key. While the lower one can be used to turn off the display and to turn it back on. On the back side we have the microphone hole and the speaker holes. And here we have the wireless charging and health sensors. Looking at the straps we have 20mm silicone straps. You can easily remove the straps by pressing this pin and getting the straps out. And just like this you can use any 20mm straps with the smartwatch and here is how both of the colors look on the wrist which one would you prefer in my opinion both of them are looking amazing let me know about your opinion in the comment section below after that it is using gl7012 f6 chip and overall the chip performance is really good so far i haven't faced any restarting issue or any phasing issue in the smartwatch the bluetooth version is set to be 5.2 and talking about waterproof, I wouldn't recommend you to use the smartwatch directly in water while it can be used normally while washing hands or in rainy days. And now let's talk about the display. So this newer version gets 1.43 inches AMOLED display and I've confirmed in the darkness that it comes with a true AMOLED display as it doesn't emit light in the dark. The AMOLED display has added great colors and great vibrancy in the smartwatch and it also looks really smooth and the AMOLED display will also have a great impact on the battery life and it will give you a great battery life even with the screen of tile turned on. The screen resolution is 466 into 466 even if you exclude the bezels it is not using a full size screen but since it has an AMOLED display so if you are using a black watch face you won't notice the bezels most of the time. Let's take a look at all of the languages supported by the smartwatch. So these were all of the languages supported by this smartwatch. Talking about the display, we get a lot of watch faces inside it and most of the watch faces are similar to the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. In the settings, we also get the lock the watch face option. But if it is turned on, it will show this screen whenever you rotate this bezel, which is more annoying in my opinion. Other than that, we have time settings. So it supports both 12 hour as well as 24 hours clock format and you can also set the time directly on the smartwatch. Then on the home screen we get the control center, then we have quick access applications from right to left and also from left to right. In the end from bottom to top we have the notifications. Talking more about the UI we get 5 menu styles inside it, it also has the animation on the bezel and overall the smoothness is really good. You can double click the upper key to change the menu style, this is the second menu style, then we have the circular menu style, this one is the fourth one and in the end we have the list view. If you go to display and scroll down. The screen time can be a maximum of 20 seconds and after 20 seconds of inactivity, the display will turn off or turn on the screen of dial if you're using one. After that in the display, we also get the standby dial option and here we have the option that standby dial will stay always on which means the screen of dial can stay on forever until the battery dies. But one thing is quite annoying that the screen of dial only turns on when the normal screen time ends. If you use the raise to wake gesture to turn off the display or you use the down key to turn off the display, it will actually directly turn off the display. 
It also has the palm gesture to turn off the display. After that in display we also have the dynamic island option which will show this dynamic island on top and whenever you have a new notification it will show it here. I personally do not like it. You can also add a passcode in the smartwatch. We also have health reminders here. We have sedentary reminder here. And you can also set the vibration intensity here and if we scroll down we have sound and vibration where you can adjust the sound level for sound and for phone. It uses the KTL Fit Pro application. You can also access the control center and scan this QR code to directly download the application. In the application we have the Me tab where we have the goals, then we have the unit settings. After that we have the Home tab which stores all of your fitness data. Here we have the exercise tab and in the end we have the devices tab. Here first of all we have the watch faces. The dial market includes most of the Galaxy watch watch faces and all of them are available for totally free. If you want to use your own picture from the gallery, you can go to custom watch face. So first of all, you will have to select the background. You can tap on custom background to choose one from gallery. After choosing the picture, we have the option of dial component. You can also add these options on the top. We have the clock dial. You can also choose different pointer styles and different scale styles. And in the end, we also have the digital clock option. It has a lot of customization options and most of the users are going to love it. Then we have the logo settings. Yes, you can also add a custom boot logo. You can also click a picture or choose one from the gallery. So for example, let's go with this one. You can tap on choose and then tap on send. And after that, it will start to push the logo to the smartphone. Logo has been pushed and next time when the smartwatch turns on, you will see that boot logo. Then we have the incoming call notifications and in the control center, we also have the Bluetooth calling icon. You can tap here to turn on Bluetooth calling. After turning on Bluetooth calling, you can access the call menu application, go to dial pad and then you can call a number directly from the smartwatch and you can also receive calls directly on it. It rings as well as vibrates on the incoming call. Here we have the accept option. As you can see, it also shows the name of the caller. We have the option to transfer the call to the smartphone and back to the smartwatch from here. Here we have the mute option, then the sound adjustment option. And in the end, we have the hang up option here. It also has the voice assistant option by which you can also access the voice assistant directly on it. But I don't know why whenever I try it, the microphone is not taking the input from me. After that, we have the incoming SMS notification and the app alerts. In app alerts, we also have the other option, which means even if an application isn't listed here, it can still send you the notifications for it. It does not have to specifically include all of the applications on the smartphone but includes most of the main ones. It vibrates when you receive a new notification. If you go to settings and scroll all the way down to notice settings, you can open this option. Then even if the display is turned off, it will wake up the display to show the new notification. So it shows a full screen prompt. You can also turn on dynamic island and then it will show new notification in the dynamic island. You can tap here to access the notification center and here is how the notifications are shown. Talking more about the notifications, it does does support a little scrolling but it does not support emojis instead it shows the word emoji in the brackets after that we have the reminder then we have automatic heart rate monitoring we have life cycle option for the females here we have the find device option using which the smartwatch will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it in the applications we also have the find option using which the smartphone will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it then we have the firmware update option currently it is running the latest firmware version as far as i've checked and in the end we have the sync contacts option by which you can add your commonly used contacts in the smartphone. When the watch application is connected, it can also push the weather updates to the smartphone, which shows the weather right now, the high and lows of the current day, the UV value, and if we scroll down, it also shows the weather for the upcoming days. And in the end, it also shows the wind speed, humidity level, visibility, and the rainfall. If we use the Apple Shortcuts application to test the NFC tag option, it is quite disappointing to see, but as far as I've checked, the smartwatch cannot be used as an NFC tag. If we go to sound and vibration, we also have the phone music option, and now it is time to check the music control. So you can tap here to control the media playing on the device. So currently it is playing the sound on the smartwatch. You can also tap here to shift the sound back to the smartwatch and still continue to control the media playing on the device, which is a great option in my opinion. And now it is time to talk about the rest of the applications. For that, I'm gonna switch to list view. So first of all, we get the blood pressure, heart rate and blood oxygen level checker inside it and if you do the proximity sensor and wear detection test then if you try it in the air it refuses to measure the data and gives the error please wear the watch correctly and if you use it on the table 
it has again given the error that please wear the watch correctly now let's try with the cloth at the back and it has again given the error which means the smartwatch has proximity sensor as well as weight detection and it will only continue to work if you try to use it against your skin so you'll have to hold firmly and in a few seconds it will start to show the values after that we get a lot of sport modes inside it in the end we have the custom option by which you can also add more sport modes and if you use any of them it directly starts the sport mode it does not have the option to set the calories distance or time target after that we have the stopwatch you can tap here to start it and then tap here to add laps so you can add as many laps as you want the upper key doesn't do anything when the lower one stops the stopwatch and if the stopwatch is running and we try to go back then you cannot go back so you'll have to stay on this screen while using the stopwatch if we end the stopwatch you can take a look at all of the labs you can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch so let's set an alarm you can also set the day and now it is turned on let's wait for it and here is how the alarm is shown it rings as well as vibrates and we have the snooze option here and the close option here then we have the calendar application and you can also tap here to access the calendar for the whole month and you can also scroll here to access the calendar for the upcoming as well as the previous months then we have compass and when you are using the compass for the first time it will ask you to calibrate it first you can tap here to adjust the digital compass after that here we have the option to change the compass view and by tapping here you can save the location then we have countdown or timer we have some predefined times here and we have the custom option to use the time according to your need so i'm gonna set it for one second so when the timer ends it vibrates for two to three seconds but it does not ring after that we have the city application which will show you your city and your location on the map then we have sleep tracker and since it has working wear detection and proximity sensor it should work well in the calculator application we have the basic functionalities like multiplication division subtraction and addition we have breath training or breathing exercise you can tap here to set the speed and tap here to set the time in the record application it keeps a track of the steps so now i'm gonna take a few steps in the room to see if pedometer works fine or not so i'm back now and i took around 40 steps in the room while it counted 59 steps so it was quite off i was holding the smartwatch still in my hands during this whole time it was just casual walking in the room and the results will obviously vary when walking or running outside and these were all of the applications in the gs46 max classic in the end it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 330 mAh which can be charged using the wireless charger provided in the box and it can give you 3 days on heavy usage and 7 days on normal usage. In my opinion the battery life will be good since it comes with AMOLED display and even talking about the screen of style it has pure black background and the white color is also dim because of which it won't drain much of the battery even if you use the screen of style and with the screen of style enabled it can easily give you 3 to 4 days of battery life. So guys this was all from today's video and from the GS Watch 6 Max Classic. So everyone who was looking for a Galaxy Watch 6 Classic replica with rotatable bezel, this is the one for you. It has amazing features like AMOLED display, then we are also getting always on display option for the screen of dial and it is providing 3-4 to four days of battery backup even with it enabled. Then we also have proximity sensor as well as weight detection inside it and the application also has great customization options. If you would like to place an order, I would really appreciate if you can use the link given in the description box below. If you turned out to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. You can also visit the channel to find many more related videos like this. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for the upcoming videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMad. Peace.